Oh, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to day two of our little trip. Uh, we're at the Little Juniana right now, and uh, it seems like bank access here is slim to none. Water is it's dirty. Um, I think I'm just gonna go grab a rod real quick. Ow, man, that thing's got some thorns. <coughs> I'm just gonna go grab my spinning rod real quick. I just wanna make a couple casts here. I don't think I'm gonna fish, uh, just because of the water being high and I don't really wanna go venturing around here too much because I am, I'm out there. I'm middle of nowhere right now. So, just gonna make a couple casts here. See if anything comes of it. And uh, at least I can say I fished the little Juniana today. So, all right, we'll see what happens. Well, I threw around here for a while. I think I had a bite. Obviously, I'm not wearing a GoPro or anything. Um, I would definitely agree the water is high. And I think I'm gonna try to come back here. I don't know when. At some point this spring, I'd like to come back here and fish this. Seems like a pretty nice place, so. Uh, I really don't know where to go from here. Cause from what I can tell, I think almost everything other than the Spring Creek that we fished yesterday is about blown out. I'd really like to go try to fish pens. I don't know. I'd like to try it at least. This kind of sucks trying to figure this stuff out with no internet. Ugh. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should we go try Penn's Creek? It's a, it's one of those things that's either going to be good and doable or it's not going to be good and doable and today's just pretty much a waste. I don't know. I don't... I want to... I don't know what to do. So I went on my navigation on my truck and it looks like there's a road up here and I should be able to take it and follow... Oh, guys are bumpy. Uh, nope, that's, that's, that's not a road. That's a closed road. <laughs> I thought it was a road that I could take and follow. Limestone Road, I don't understand why that, why is it saying on my truck that I can take that road, when in reality you can't. <laughs> so I think just to be on the safe side, as badly as I would love, as badly as I would love to be able to, geez, just stay put. As badly as I would love to be able to make a run to, to pens, I don't want to just waste my day driving around because it's probably an hour and a half, two hours there, and it's another two and a half hours from there to my house, and I have to make it home tonight. So, Jesus. So I'm just gonna try to find some more areas to fish along the Juniata, or should I say the little Juniata. Try to find some more areas there to fish. Um, I seen fish rising at that last place, but I don't know what they were rising on. So, and the water was so deep there it was hard it was going to be hard for me to be able to get in and fish so we're going to take a ride upstream some more and hopefully find some more areas to fish <coughs> all right um i guess you could say this spot number two Whew, slippery okay so pretty much can only fish this one little spot right here but I'm gonna give it a try anyway um, looks deep deep with good moving water yeah I mean I can just kind of barely see bottom so I'm gonna give it a try here cast around uh, as much as I can it's gonna be difficult but we'll see I feel like 
I really should try the fly rod here. This seems not very snaggy. If that makes any sense. Whoa, that's a, <gasps> that was huge. Oh my God. <coughs> Oh my God, that was a huge trout. Oh my God. Wow. Oh, he came and tried to get it again. I just seen him right there. It just seems like if you get it deep enough, they're willing to hit it. There, I got him. Oh my God. Come here, come here. Yes! Oh my God, that's a brook trout. Oh my God, oh my God. That is a brook trout. Are you kidding me? Holy crap. Okay, okay. I gotta get some pictures of this guy. Oh my God. <gasps> I don't have my phone. I must have left it in the truck. Oh. So I left my phone in the truck. So before uh, I let this guy go here, get one last look at him. Oh wow. That is so beautiful. All right, let's let you go, buddy. Thank you. There he goes. Wow. That is beyond unbelievable. Cut, uh, that trout was huge, especially for a brookie. You don't see him get that big. And this isn't like, this is wild trout water. This is not stock trout. So it makes it even like weirder. Like, I don't know. Just, oh my God. But you could, I mean, he definitely, like, he wanted that. He chased that. Well, boys, I gave her hell today. I tried Frenchies, Zebra Midge, Blackstone Fly, Sculpin, Streamers, and uh, I could not get bit. Still cannot figure out this whole fly fishing thing. I, I kind of caught that one yesterday, but I more or less... Uh, Ended up snagging him somehow. I don't know how that was even possible, but I did. Um, be sure to comment below. Let me know, you know, what I can do better as far as you know fly fishing goes. If any of you guys fly fish, um, or even if you're in PA and uh, maybe want to teach me, help me out. Uh, let me know down below. Uh, until then, thanks for watching. Peace.